Greetings, people. No borrow here, and welcome back to Primal Flames. I haven't actually played this in a little bit, and that's mostly because I made a huge mistake and accidentally hit new game instead of continue in the middle of what I was doing, and kind of felt a little bit silly. All right, what we're gonna do today, though, is I, I have been able to win with every faction but this one, the Bronian. Bron Bronion? I don't know how what the actual pronunciation is supposed to be. So this is a note. I yeah, we'll just take the team that they give us. And yeah, I'm gonna use this uh, version of the char main character just because you know shops being cheaper and extra items in the shop is actually huge. So let's just grab some items and see what we get. Our hair character is another ranger. Ooh, a treasure chest. Let's see what we get here. Warrior bonus crit rate. Honestly, warriors are kind of the best class. I'm not gonna lie. I think they're amazing. Every active attack, every your active attack, your active attack in battle apply. Okay, whenever you active attack, you apply poison. Enemies cannot dodge. Uh, that sounds massive. We're gonna take that. The random buffs could have been good too, but we're gonna. Okay, we got a merchant already, just to see what we can get. Honestly, I think this is a refresh. Uh, hunter, scout, armor, priest, dodge, guard, HP. Oh my god, these are some terrible items. Priest, dodge, and damage mitigation is good. I don't really have any... I have one priest. Uh, there's no point to go there. Mercenaries, let's see if we can find anyone. Good. Honestly, I'm kind of wanting warriors. Actually, was there some... There's some good scouts there, though. Action and... Okay, wait, which one did I get? Auto-fired the closest enemy in all directions. Okay, yeah. I actually want to hold on to this love... This, uh, crystal. I have... There's one thing with this faction I haven't tried, and I feel like it's a major thing that we need to do to actually get it to work. All right, well, let's put a tank over here. Warrior over here. And I'm not really sure what else we're going to do. I guess this and be this. So the warriors for this faction, they gain stats when they... They gain stacks of assault whenever they take a step. And when you get maximum assault, you get to do a big powerful attack. So... Would have been nice to actually get that aimed a little better, honestly, but move you here. Alright, which one are you? You're the, yeah, you're the attack enemies in range. And then you can go here. Pop. Alright, we're not going to be able to kill this guy this turn, because you can only count it once. Wow, my armor broke real fast. So you really want to get as much movement as possible with the warriors, just to get them to keep gaining their stacks. Thunderclap range. Hire a flying bomb. Costs 100. I don't really want to spend 100 on it. Send someone home. I don't think we really want to get rid of anyone right now. I don't want to do an elite battle yet. We're going to see. Kind of seeing what else we have. Encounter, encounter. Let's use this encounter. See what we unlock here. All right, well, let's do... Actually. Nope. Try something like... All right, I have an idea. I'm going to see if this will... How much damage we'll do here. That was enough damage. We just park over here, get a free shot, and this is the shotgun, right? I'm trying to remember which character this is. I haven't played in a little bit. Yeah, shotgun. Yeah, I wish I could have got another warrior. 
All right, there we go. Unlocked the Thronian Temple. So now, let's see, we can create a guard. Oh, we can create a warrior. All right, let's see how this works. Oh no, it's a prayer stone, not a bloodstone that you need to do that. Broken camp, get some more money. All right. <sighs> I guess we should prob. Oh my god, these are all classes I don't use. Much. I don't have much of. Like hunter, I guess the hunter crit rate might be good. Fine, we'll, we'll power up the hunters a little bit. We don't have any scouts. There's so much scout stuff. This is expensive for what it does. It is good though. You know what? We'll buy it. Something like this. Oh, damn it. Wow. I don't think this thing can hit me. Nope, it can. Oh, this was horribly done. Horrible plan here. To be able to survive another hit here, how much my armor is getting like shredded because the passive for this faction is your ar starting armor is doubled, but then you lose one armor every time you get hit. Yeah. All right, I should be able to survive a hit. Oh, barely. survived. Alright, we got some level ups, though. Can I get some healing? When works is spawned, summon a beast trap in three adjacent cells. Use to lose three HP and gain immobilize. When adding action on work spawn two berries nearby. That's actually pretty good. When action ends, ricochet three times from an adjacent ally. Healing HP equal to current armor. She doesn't have very much armor, though. I did want some healing on her, though. Yeah, we'll actually do that. Maybe if we can grab some priest armor eventually, then. Alright, this is really good. We want the tanks to have as much armor as humanly possible, right? So. Alright, so we gotta bring everybody here. We have to protect the Scholar. Let's just do something like this. Are these berries over here? Yes, okay. I didn't do anywhere near enough damage. Man, that's a lot of bees. I'm a little spooked. Right, boom. Alright, we killed all the wolves there. Ah. Well, that sucked. Nope, that didn't. Damn it, can I go back? I cannot go back. Alright, well, let's... Let's just stay here and... We killed one bee. Alright, they're all attacking the tank. So that's... That's good. The amount of damage she's taking is not really good. Ah, don't attack! Okay, good. Whew. Oh, 
we're not gonna so the, the bees do damage equal to their health so Let's go over here get a little heal heal everyone okay please don't attack her okay good Whew. That worked out pretty good because I think a lot of it was because of the warriors being as good as they are. Campfire, new warrior, a new scout. Okay, we don't have a scout. That changes things. We got one of everyone now. First time after killing an enemy, spawn an energy block. Actually, I like the sound of this because we want to keep moving. Colossus relic. We can buy a. Warrior item. Probably can also get this level here. Well, that sounds fun. Alright. You know what? We're gonna... Yeah, let's grab a warrior item, even though... Warrior damage plus two. Was that really worth the money? Probably. I probably shouldn't spend all of my money on warrior items, though. Or scout in play. Scouts are weird because they drop bombs. And yeah. Do this. All right. All right, I'm still I'm still not 100 percent sure how these bombs work. I think they fly forward and I hit them. Yes. All right. So she should be immune to the electricity. She's probably not. I'm gonna take some damage, but. No, does the electricity not do damage? If there are no adjacent units, one on this cell. Okay. That guy. And then we run over here and oh. pretty much I'm gonna bring the warrior every fight. They are technically our main character anyways, because they started with the bonus health. So pool of origin. I don't know if I wanna do I wanna boost their strength more? I might. Okay, get to the location for the, for the wasp or eliminate all enemies. It's a weird one. All right, so we definitely don't want you. We gotta go fast. Maybe they do something like this. That was an easy encounter. I've never seen that one. That was that was kind of interesting, but it wasn't really difficult by any means. Okay, racial blessing now doubles your attack, which decreases by one whenever you active attack. So it's whenever you active attack. So would that go down if I just passively attacked? I want to try that. I've never tried this one on a character like this. Sacred River, we don't really have anyone that I need to revive. I really need one of these gems so I can really try making a robot. I want to make the warrior one. See how good they are. I wanted to go to the elite battle. I don't know why I clicked somewhere completely different. Alright, this is just a runaway fight. And like this maybe uh. hey don't hit me 
Alright, so if... Oof. What do I do with this? I have to stand here. But I should be at... No, I did still just take it to hell. Damn it. Weird that the bomb got placed there. I go like this, boom, he's dead. We'll hang out over here. Oh, he's dead. Alright, now let's just... Let's get out of here, I guess. Before this, these guys get to us. movement. Probably you. Okay. Okay, so she's the only one that's in danger, so we're gonna move her up. End the turn. Pop. Skip. Alright, we're good. We got this. Run away! That's actually proving to be pretty useful. Using her to just kind of throw the bomb at people is really, really good. Received Sunder. Yeah, that's actually, that sounds really good. Sadly, her attack is really low for, you know, kind of being like this act-based looking. Like, her visuals, she looks like a ninja. You'd think she'd be like big attack, but no, not really. I like this. Because, alright, seven. You're at four, right? Yeah, four. You're probably at like seven. Yeah, five. Alright, so I can actually boost the attacks of people. Is there a priest attack? I don't think there was. There's scout damage. And crit damage. That's not worth the money. All right, let's go. Let's go fight the boss. There was once a little demon raised by humans. However, it also disappeared after a demon raid. Years later, a notorious prison was built here, and the warden's name spread like wildfire. Oh, this guy's a foot and a half. All right, I'm not even sure how we're going to set this team up for this fight. I think we'll swap you... You're too slow. You're too slow. Damn it, I need to ring you. Shoot. Alright, no. Yeah, that's where I was hoping for that. Oh, this is an awkward setup. I'm gonna mess some things up here. See, this is about how the fight works. They lock your dudes up. So I can't use that character anymore. run up here. This should do a nice chunk to them. Ooh, that didn't work out as well as I was hoping. Yep, she's dead. I 
I don't know. Can this guy? Yeah, it doesn't look like he can attack in a diagonal. Are you kidding me? Alright, so where can he attack? He can attack very far. If we move like this... Ugh, is this good? He's just gonna go hang out over there again, huh? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm kind of just hoping to get him to... Fight. Alright, let's get you over here. We gotta... Uh... That was an unlucky crit. That being said, I think he's in death range. Alright, good. And we got this. And a new character. What did you get? That sounds like a really good character. But do I have to trade? Do I have to like sacrifice these two to get it? Yes. Okay, so you fuse your units together to get a big special one. Interesting. After attacking, gain one assault for every armor up to four. That actually sounds really good. That's good too. Now let's take this. This guy can blink strike things. Oh, he gets another level. When action ends, apply iron wall to allies within two. Nor armor when attacking enemies with full HP and gain two assault. Uh, let's grab this armor booster. All right, so sacred river. Bring everyone back to life. All right. Alas, that will probably be it for today. That was still... This is going alright. I'm excited to see how this character turns out. I've never actually used this whole aspect of this faction. Where you have to essentially sacrifice two units to get a... Why is it set to who it is? I think it might be... Yeah, you probably need to get a warrior. Alright. What does the priest one do? Self and surrounding allies getting chain lightning. Interesting. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that. Okay. Either way, I hope you guys had a great time, and I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye for now.